just giving it a test guys um, making sure that uh, no bubbles are coming out of it after a vacuum that's the underneath of the uh, standoffs just there this is some sort of um, sealant it never dries it so it's quite tacky that's the black stuff on my fingers now uh, not very nice stuff there because it takes ages to get off but uh, <coughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that's the other one which was unfortunately was not working as well. Um, that one's the same voltage as that one in there, I believe that's 120 actually, and this is 100, 100 kV, and the one in there is 120 kV. So it's a bit of a shame, really, that one doesn't work as well. It still works up to about 100 volts input, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work after that. It's get internal, <coughs> internal, uh, some sort of internal arcing, which doesn't sound very good. So I've stopped taking it over 100 volts now. Probably might just leave it up to 100, uh, 80 volts, and leave it at that. There's one of the outputs just there. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So we, do you want to see that arcs again? It's only ballasted at 400, 400 watts. I'll show you 800 as well. And this one works quite well actually, after the vacuum. See I've got the gunk on me again, it's bloody awful stuff. A mineral oil though, takes it straight off, wipes it straight off your fingers. See, gone. So it is, it's quite loud again, so if you've got your speakers turned up, turn them down. Right, this is just 400 watts input ballast. Plastic there just to hold that wire out of the way so it doesn't ground to the chassis. But I want it to be um, X-ray um, tube output, filling output. There you go guys, thought I'd share that with you, look after yourselves, thanks for watching my videos, uh, please give me uh, a thumbs up and a comment if you can, if there's something you want to ask or, um, you know, whatever, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, I've got to get out of this uh, shed now because I'm choking on ozone, take care guys.